fans out there, this is Mr. Chillier. And let's talk about Punisher issue two, done by Jason Aaron. And this is definitely becoming a great series. One of my part, my favorite so far of the Punisher series. There's some things I don't like, and there's some things I can't wait to look forward to because this fits Punisher's character so well. You know, like, like damn, like you can't imagine, like, why didn't you do this a lot sooner? Become the hand leader. Um, and be basically working with the hand, become like, like I said, the Raja Ghoul. Raja Ghoul basically, his idea was to kill all the rapists, the killers, the crooks, and do all this. Like, get rid of them all, kill them, save enough of the good, and put fear out there for criminals. Kind of like be Batman, but killing style. But Batman didn't like that. He didn't want to be known for killing all that stuff. He basically wanted, he wanted to take out his way. That's why he, Ray Jagu and Batman never got along. But this Frank Castle, Frank Castle is basically doing that. He's doing that. He create, um, basically took control. Um, he became the hands leader, and told him, "I want you to round up all the rapists and killers and murderers and all the terrible people." Even told the hand, "Do longest, I'll be the hand leader if, uh, longest you follow my lead. You tell, I tell you who to kill, who to get, everything." So damn, he's not changing one bit. And he's, the hands listen to him. Um, and it's crazy, his wife's back. And that's that's wonderful. I love that his wife's back. His, he should be loved or all that stuff. It's even crazier. Like, it's kind of um, tra tragic that he sees gun bullets still in his wife. Like, the markings on the bullets that are left on the corpse. Because, um, you know, the hand could bring back people life. Even has a little flashback that he reaches for his dead wife's hand during that moment when they all got killed. And she's even asking, where's our kids? And like, I wonder if they're going to bring back his kids as well. That would be crazy to bring back his kids. You know, the app may me to become more featured characters. Like all these characters, like they may bring back new characters. It makes all sense too, because like I said, the hand brings back people's life. And he's doing all this mostly because his kids are back. And he's doing what he's known to do. He's... He, He's okay killing criminals. He's okay killing people. He believes not saving them. He's not Spider-Man. He's not Captain America. He believes in killing the villains. He's training with them. Uh, we get more deep stories, the back, the background, the hands. So that's pretty cool. Uh, how they basically raised uh, to be killers. Like their little kids holding swords, fighting all their life. They've been training. So that was crazy. The only thing I didn't like about this is they made... Punisher feel like a psychopath in a way because he, he was like drawing murder in his books. He was beating up kids badly, paralyzing them, hurting them badly, uh, bringing knives to school. He's, he felt like a trauma kid. I feel like that's wrong. Like he felt like a, he, he's, uh, I think that the term is PTSD uh, for his war. He suffered a lot from war. But uh, I think wherever his story some I heard was Vietnam. I think the first, um, he was a Vietnam vet, or I think one story was a Iraqi vet, but I think Vietnam vet's the closest one. He survived that, and this trauma for that war, um, then um, this death of his kids, that's what brought it. I don't think he was a psychopath all his life. It was like 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 some of these serial killers, nah, nah. And like this hand uh, ninja, I um, mean, the, the lady that works with her now, but watching her all his life, like he's been the chosen one. I kind of didn't like that. It's like, uh, nah. I understand you want to go with the Punisher because he fills the part. He fills the role. Maybe the gods chose them. I'll say, okay, fine. Go for that part. But not for the kids. Nah, nah, nah. Not when he was a kid. It would be cool that Frank Castle read the Captain America shirt because that's his favorite superhero who was Captain America growing up. Um, that was true. In the Civil War, he wouldn't join his side. He, he said he would never strike Captain America. Even Captain America beat the crap out of him during the Civil War. He why he asked why you're not fighting back because you are my hero. I'm not gonna punch my hero. Basically, that's the guy he wished he became was Captain America, so the way he is now. Um, and we're getting pumped up for the next fight. And the villain in this story arc, it feels like. Uh, and I was hoping it was because when he mentioned this a uh, guy that's wearing this uh Greek mythology helmet, this Trojan helmet, it's coming with a peace offering, it's basically a, like a gun to kill like Hulk, whatever is a gamma ray gun. And Punisher didn't want nothing with it. He doesn't want to work with these people. He wants to get rid of all the criminals. He's not a criminal himself. He wants to get rid of these gun traders that kill hundreds of people, sell weapons to other people so they kill more people. He wants to get rid of all these people. He is the basic, like I said, I'm the assassin. I'm going to be the wiping you guys out my way. 
and that's gotta be cool and awesome. And you kill the way the gore in this is so awesome too. Like in the artwork, like when Scott is pulled, like whipped out of his side, this uh, basically his soldier ripped up his side, pull out a pistol. You see blood coming out. You see Punisher blocking the gun and got like a kind of like he picked a nice out of his skin, like um, with Ninja Stars, guy from the skin and start punching him in his face. Boom! He's like, oh damn, this felt so gruesome. Like he used to like Ninja Stars brass knuckles, like doosh doosh doosh. He's like, damn. And he feel, I guess he unlocking some powers from the forming hand on uh, just passing down. Like I said, to do some chosen stuff. You've been the chosen one. And after he killed that chosen uh, soldier, he when that chosen soldier died, um, he said, oh "My, basically, my God is gonna come for you." Like, oh damn! I have a feeling when that chosen God said, "My God controls war," and wait till I get apart. But it was pretty cool. This demon, I don't know, you can see it. They show the freaking hand of God, like she said, bow before your God. This is the hand of the God, like their God. And Punisher's like, whoa, like this is a full on demon. And he looks so crazy and sick. Like I said, this is awesome. And I wonder how Punisher could react to this. Like, am I turning to villain? But like, as long as I'm doing the stuff I want, this demon lets me do what I want. Like, is that okay? Punisher works with his demon, and but he's killing all his people. Like, is he gonna change somehow? I wonder how he's gonna feel when his kids do come back. Like, uh, this was feels like so many questions how Punisher's gonna react to this. But the next best part, we're gonna get a war with like the children got work with someone, kind of like, like I said, they work in a group. His boss is called none other when he, um, they show him Ares. Ares is back, he has a symbol, that skull like Punisher. And he says, it's a good war it is when he comes, he finds out his master got killed. So war it is, which is exactly how Ares likes it. So the god of war is facing basically Punisher that is known for fighting so much wars itself. And that is sick. We're getting Ares facing the Punisher soon in this series. I haven't read Ares in a while since the Thunderbolt, I believe. Maybe he popped in sooner, but oof, that's gonna be so cool. His little um Trojan group soldiers, his mercenaries facing the hand. Oof, it's gonna be dope. And I, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be cool. I can't wait. That's why I said I love uh, Punisher being the hand leader of the hand. It feels right. I want to see him fight heroes. I want to see him fight villains. All that stuff. I hope they listen to him for a very long time. I hope to see his kids. This is gonna be an interesting story that I've seen. Something different from the Punisher comics forever. Like you, when you read Punisher, he's always asking cartels, criminals, bad guys. He became War Machine. That was pretty cool. That was one of my favorites. Uh, when he became the war machine, this fit, fits him perfect. I want him to fight like bigger bad guys now, like Titanium Man and all that stuff. We we had their um Baron Zemo, that was pretty cool. We went at the Baron Zemo and had to create Thunderbolt. He was hunting all the Hydra soldiers. That was dope. Um, but this feels so cool. Now he has a whole league behind him, the hand. And I can't wait to see Daredevil and Electric. They're base they're they're preparing a war against the hand as well. So there's gonna be so much epicness coming in this Jason Air run and the Punisher. Ooh, so cool. I'm giggly from it. But comment below. Let me know what you think of Jason Aaron Punisher run so far. How you feel Punisher being the control in the hand, the leader of the hand now. And what you feel like Ares and what's the fight between Ares and the um Punisher could be like. The big old war between them two. You, are you pumped like I am? Let me know. Like I said, comment below. Let's talk about some Punisher and Jason Aaron run. Comment below. Let me know what you think with how this story is going to foretell. How long it's gonna last? I hope it lasts a long time. 50 issues plus. Like I said, there's a monster possibility of this series gonna last. I mean, um, a lot of good stories could come out of this story. But thank you for watching my video. I'll talk to y'all next time. Please hit the like button if you like my video and subscribe to my channel to get all my comic book videos. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.